Hello everyone, I'm Tom Weeknick and welcome to KZGN Ridgecrest Talk. Here we are for a half hour program to talk about the Friends of NRA. The Friends of NRA dinner is coming to Ridgecrest here real soon and I brought in the chairman of this year uh, dinner to talk to us and tell us more about it. Would you introduce yourself and tell us what you got going on? Hello there, I'm Bill Sumners. I'm the chairman of the Friends of the NRA dinner banquet this year. And uh, we've got a lot of very exciting events coming up for you for that dinner evening. And uh, it's, it's going to be a great night. Uh, I've, been on the, uh, I've been a lifetime member of the NRA. I've got a passion for this. And uh, it's, it's very exciting to be able to come to everyone and say, you know, this is not just about the Second Amendment or shooting sports in the Valley. But it, it's about uh, getting together and friendship and, and having a good time and, you know what, uh, having a one in, chance, one in five chance of, of winning a gun. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm also the, on the board of directors for the Central California Committee uh, for the NRA and Friends of the NRA. Uh, and what that entails is basically reviewing about 100 grants and uh, making the decision who to fund. And uh, through the years, uh, we've, we've done really well in Indian Wells Valley. Well, Bill, this is uh, according to the information we have here. It's the 20th dinner. And uh, uh, I've been heavily involved with the NRA for a long time. I, used, I did all the positions you're doing right now. Yep. Uh, but that's about God 10 years you. ago. <laughs> I, I, was in, I did it for about six years. And it's a lot of work. It is a lot of work. It's a lot of work. And getting volunteers to help and everything is, is not an easy job. That's right. Of course, that goes with any of these volunteer organizations, getting that's the right. people to help and make it happen. Uh, but it always falls on a small group of uh, a net group to get it done. Right. But anyway, uh, I want to compliment you on taking the chair on this, and and also on the on the state level as well. Thank you. Because uh, it's it's a big job. But anyway, uh, so the dinner is coming. When is it coming? Where's it going to be? And well, it's going to be May sixteenth. It's going to be at the Kern McGee Center. Uh, we've got the entire center. Uh, last year we had over six hundred people. Wow. This year we're gonna we're gonna hold it down to four hundred and fifty. So if you haven't bought your tickets, you need to buy them. We were about half sold out. All right. We've got two two weeks to go to the event, and uh, at 450, we're going to stop it. So if you don't have your tickets, I'm sorry. Uh, the 13th of May, we're going to stop the uh, sponsorship tables of eight, uh, just because it becomes uh, a management issue of how to place all those tables and to get everything in the room. So this year, we're going to have uh, we've got about 90 guns we're giving away. We've got 11 different games. You have about 16 different opportunities to buy raffles, play games, to win a gun. Uh, and with, with that said, it's about a one in five chance with 450 people. So, you know, that's pretty good odds to win uh, a gun or not just guns. We have other merchandise. We have gun safes. We have, uh, uh, we've got some really nice uh, merchandise this year. Uh, above and beyond of what we've done in the past. So I, my goal this year was to kind of change it up. Uh, I also had a goal this year to make $100,000 to send back to the Friends of the NRA. Wow. Uh, last year we grossed $188,000. Mm -hmm. uh, we didn't net that, but uh, we're getting there. And so I said to the committee, I said, I have a goal for $100,000. This year in grants, we brought to the Indian Wells Valley $82,000. And that's for youth shooting, family days, uh, ladies shooting events, uh, hunters education, all types of education for the youth, and, and just to extend the shooting sport to the community. You know, when we started this 20 years ago, we didn't even gross $82,000. It's crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> that's how this thing's grown over the years. It to, it's this huge event. Uh, a lot of people talk about it all year long about, hey, it was such a great dinner. Uh, what kind of uh, games are you going to have? Well, this, this year we've got uh, a roulette wheel game. Uh, in the wheel game, uh, there will be tickets on the wheel. Uh, you spin the wheel and you, you can, if you, for $20, you spin the wheel and you at least get $20 in raffle tickets. That's the least prize. And there's $100 raffle ticket packages on that wheel, 50 There's a, a chance to win a gun on that. Uh, I think we're actually giving two guns away on the wheel. 
So there'll probably be about 30 to 40 people on that wheel win a ticket, and then we'll at the end of the night we'll draw draw a ticket, and we'll, I think we'll have two winners for that. Okay. So that's one game. That's one game. We've got a, a dice game. It's not like we're gambling or anything, but, you know, we kind of change things up. So the dice game is basically if you roll snake eyes, you get one ticket for a chance at a gun. Um, we've got the, the cup game that becomes real popular. Uh, basically, we've got some really nice thermos cups that has NRA on the side of it. And inside there, they'll be from 20 to uh, $500 worth of raffle tickets in there. And in two of the cups, there will be a gun ticket in there, so you win a gun. And in one of the cups is a key buy item. Mm. And in case you don't know what a key buy is... Well, that's, that, that's a popular... That thing. is a very popular thing. We've got a safe full of $5,000 worth of merchandise. Uh, we've got, I think, six guns in that. We've got... Usually it's top secret of what everything's in there, but because of the past, we're going to kind of let people know what's in there. Uh, we've got a bow, there's a black powder gun, there's a very nice limited edition uh, Ducks Unlimited painting, it's about this big, uh, of some geese. There's numerous other things in there, and uh, MSRP is $5,000. So, wow. so back to what the key item means, is we're only going to sell 12 key item uh, this year. Uh, in the past, they've sold from 18 to 25 of those. And it kind of dilutes the, the, uh, the fun of of trying to buy a key item. So basically we'll put a key with either a silent auction item or a live auction item. And and what that does is it causes the, the, the bidder to bid that price up. So if you've got a gun for, with a live auction that has a key with it, that thing could go for three or four times its value, but you're a one in 12 chance to win the safe and all the merchandise inside it. Right. Pretty exciting. And with everything that you put in, you said it's about worth about $5,000. It's worth $5,000. That's the safe and everything that's within it. That's right. So that's that's quite a, uh, quite a thing to win. And, there's and the a, safe there's is a, this big mm. by six foot high. It's a, and there's only 12 chances? Only 12 chances to okay. win. So that's that's pretty good, uh, pretty good odds. It is uh, pretty good odds. Do you try at the end try and trade trade the keys off or sell them or anything like that? Or we haven't really talked about that yet, okay. so I'm not totally sure how we're going to do that. Uh, sometimes there's a little trading going on on the side. Uh, yeah. uh, there is going to be a key item in the cups, so okay. that's going to be pretty popular. Uh, so. It'll be pretty pretty good. Okay, we're getting ready to go to a break. So when we come back, we'll go into some more of the games, and then we'll find out what the NRA does, or the FNRA does for the Valley. Perfect. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Thanks for staying with us. We're talking to Bill Sumners from the Friends of NRA. Uh, we, let, we went to break talking about the games and stuff like that, but I'd like to, before we go too far into this thing, I want you to tell the people how they can really help out with sponsor packages. I mean, that is a big part of this dinner, it and is. people are always wanting to get sponsor packages. Can you tell us a little bit about those? Yeah, we've got four different sponsor packages this year, and in the past we've typically would um, ask people to, for sponsorships and we would entice them by giving them a gun or something with it. So this year we're not doing that. What we're doing instead, we're giving uh, gift certificates for your choice of, uh, of at gun shops for different levels. So for instance, the bronze level, that's a $500 package. Um, and you can, you'll get uh, $300 worth of raffle tickets and uh, a, a chance at one in five drawing. So what the one in five drawing is, is that for every five sponsorships that we sell, you'll get a ticket for the drawing of those five sponsorships. For sponsors so, only. For sponsors only. So you get a one in five, and those guns, and that's for a gun, I think we have a safe in that as well, and those guns are valued at six to $700. So it's a pretty good deal. We also have the silver sponsorship that costs you $840. That's for, that's for a table of four. Uh, and what's included in that is a gift certificate for $175 and $500 worth of gift certificate or uh, raffle drawings. So really, you know, you're spending $840, but you get 500 of it back in raffle tickets. And the raffle this year, we've got a lot of raffle items. 
and uh, you'll be impressed to find uh, the value of those. So they're, they're quite nice. We also have a gold sponsorship for $1,450. That gives you a table of eight. Uh, it gives you $500 in raffle tickets, a one in five drawing, and a $400 gift certificate at your choice of the gun shops. Then we have a premium sponsorship package for $2,700. That's a table of eight. Uh, you also get uh, $800 in raffle tickets and a $700 gift certificate and a chance at the one in five drawing. So it's a pretty significant sponsor package and they're not so expensive that they're crazy because you get so much back in, uh, right. in raffle tickets and gift certificates. So really it doesn't cost you that much uh, to be a sponsor but it really helps us in planning the evening. And raising the money. And raising the money. <laughs> Okay, so that's the sponsor. How about what's the cost to just go to it? Well, you know what? It's uh, it's probably the best dinner in town uh, that you can go to for sixty bucks. As an individual, it costs you sixty bucks, and uh, as for a couple, it's a hundred dollars. And for youth six to twelve, it's fifteen dollars. And if you're under six, it's free. So bring your young kids. Uh, we've got a great youth uh, facility that we're gonna give away probably ten youth guns and lots of merchandise. Uh, but it's a great deal, and then we've got Casey's sponsors catering the dinner this evening, this year. Oh, they always do a good job. And and we're going to have uh, barbecued St. Louis ribs and chicken cordon bleu. So it's kind of outside the tri-tip box. Oh yeah. Yeah. So so we're really putting on a really nice uh, five-star dinner for everybody, and uh, it should be a great event. Okay. Do you have something for the, that the kids can do for games at the thing? We do. We've got a number of games. We set up a room at Kern McGee Center uh, that is nothing but youth games. We've got a uh, laser shot uh, tag, basically, uh, where you can shoot at uh, different wildlife or targets. Uh, we've got uh, numerous other games and raffles for the, for the full evening. And then uh, we've got a youth raffle for a gun also. And... Uh, for just one, and then we've got another youth raffle that gives away about 10. Okay, so, so lots of youth youth things going on. Keep the kids on. busy. The kids will be busy, trust <laughs> okay. me. Then Richard get, Thayer runs that, and he does an awesome job. Yeah. You also talked, you wanted to talk about the progressive uh, game? Right. The progressive raffle is, is kind of unique uh, for the NRA because the NRA is the only one that I know that does that. And basically, the more raffle tickets you buy, the more chances you have at getting into a progressive raffle. And when I say progressive raffle, we have what's called the gold, blue, and a red table. The gold table has guns valued up to $1,000. The blue has it up to about $750. And the red can go from $200 to $500, maybe even six. And the more tickets you buy, say, for instance, a $500 uh, progressive package, you'll get three tickets, chances to buy at the gold table. You get five to eight, I don't remember the exact numbers, at the blue table, and you'll get 10 or 12 tickets for the red table. So your odds really increase the more you buy, and that's the whole premise of the whole progressive raffle thing. So it's it's really a good deal. And so if you, buy, if you buy $500, you get lots more chances at, at really higher quality guns. And how many guns are on those tables approximately? Uh, each table has about six. Oh, wow. Yeah, so if we don't sell them, if we don't sell enough or give them all away, we'll figure out something to do with them at the end of the year. Okay, keep probably keep them for next year. Maybe, or <laughs> I, my goal is to give them away, so Ob we'll obviously. raffle them off. Yeah, yeah. right. And and you know every you do every year you have success. Exactly. And everything gets sold, everything goes out, and yep. you're, you're out there. We we have another really interesting thing that that uh, not a lot of the fundraisers do around here, and that is a first responders raffle. So if you're a police person, a fire person, whether you're a secretary or out on the lines, or you're ex-military or current military, everybody stands up. For 20 bucks, you can get in the first responder. And I think this year it's a Glock 25. Okay. So your odds are really good in, in winning that one. Okay. And that's for all the first responders? That's for all the first responders, police, okay. military, and all those guys. All right. Sounds good. Uh, so that's a really good wrap-up of all the games, what it costs to go there. Uh, and everything else, uh, as far as getting in the building and sponsorships, uh, is uh, where do we like? Where, where do you want to go from now? What, what does it do for the valley? Well, you know, it's. I'm glad you asked that because uh, it's probably something that a lot of people don't know. Is is there's been six hundred and forty thousand dollars in the last ten years come back through the to the Indian Wells Valley, specifically Indian Wells Valley, for from grants. That's a huge number, and you go, well, where'd all that money, where, where's it go? How's it affect the community? 
Well, there's shoots every single weekend at the two ranges that we have, the, the public ranges, uh, their membership ranges, Ridgecrest Shooting Range and Sage Shooting Range. Those ranges put on shoots every weekend from live action cowboy shoots to COSO archery shoots to USPSA, which is the United States Pistol Associ Practical Pistol Association, to tactical shoots, to long range shoots. Both ranges do those. And there's just so much stuff to do. And, uh, and this year we brought back um, $82,000 and 23000 of that. Did you know that we have a... Uh, a youth trap shooting circuit that has about a hundred kids that travels to all of the trap shooting areas Barstow, uh, Inukern, uh, Bakersfield, Lancaster, Mojave and a and hundred kids shoot trap for free and as a competitive and there's awesome prizes that we give. NRA paid for all that ammunition and all their entry fees. Okay, we're getting ready to go to break. When we come back from the break we'll get into more about what the ranges are and how they do, what they do for the valley. Perfect. Stay with us. Thank you. Well, welcome back, everybody. Thanks for staying with us. We're in the last segment of uh, talking about the Friends of NRA. And we were just starting to talk about the shooting ranges, and we do have two shooting ranges here. Actually, there's three when you talk about uh, close range out there oh, for, that's the, true. for the skeet shooting. But anyway, uh, I, I'm the president of, of the Ridgecrest Gun Range, and I know when we started that range, uh, we used a lot of NRA money to start that one as, as well from funding from through this dinner. Uh, but we also wanted to make sure that all the ranges didn't compete with each other. Right. Okay, so the one range focuses in, one, in certain areas, another range focuses in other areas, and then we have the shotgun range. And uh, so we tried to not um, compete with each other, I guess, so that when we're going out and doing something for the community, for the Valley, as far as shooting sports, people can decide what they want to do. Uh, anyway, so that's the pretext that we set the ranges up in. Uh, you want to amplify that a little bit more? Well, you know, we're blessed in this valley to have uh, two large, large long-range shooting ranges, plus the Trap and Skeet Club in Inukern. And don't forget the other range, we have a skeet and trap on the base. Oh, that's uh, right. A little, bit, hard, little bit harder little bit harder to get to, but they, they have functions out there, and, uh, and it's a small membership, but it's still a nice little range. But, you know, when you, when you say not wanting to compete, uh, with the other ranges, I, I, I see that the other ranges, there is a little something different for everybody. And between Sage having their tactical AR-15 shoots and their 22 steel, and then you guys out at Ridgecrest range having your long range 600 yard shoots and your cowboy action sports and, and your COSO, uh, Coastal archery thing. And Sierra Desert Gun Club and with the NRA style shooting. Right. So, I mean, there is something for everybody. Yeah. You know, and what's really neat about these ranges is you have a controlled atmosphere, you're safe, you have range ROs, uh, range officers on board that are, that are all NRA trained, very safe environment for the whole family, uh, and, and it's just an awesome sporting, uh, 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 sporting event site that right. you can do. And it, and it does help the economic situation of the valley Absolutely. as well. Because like I, I can speak for the Rich Coast Gun Range because the cowboy shooters, they have annual shoots and regular shoots and they'll, uh, and they'll their annual shoots, they'll have like 165 people coming from Wyoming, Kansas, all over the country. Right. Uh, Sierra Desert Gun Club, the long range shooters, uh, we have over 400 members of the 600 yard range because it's 600 yards. Right. And they're from all over California, Arizona, and Nevada. And they maintain memberships here. Right. And they come here to shoot at this range. Uh, Sage has uh, got their own areas that they're specialized in. Right. Ipsic, uh, they'll come from Bakersfield. We'll have 60 shooters on a Sunday afternoon. I mean, we've got people from the Las Vegas area that come and shoot shoot some matches. So it's a huge benefit to the community with, with construction cost and, and buying construction material and food and groceries and the hotels. You'd be surprised. I mean, it, it's, it's a huge shooting community. And uh, it, it's, it's really nice to have those ranges available to us. Yeah, when we have those things that come into the shooting ranges, and they do come in shop in the valley, so there is a return of investment. Absolutely. And uh, we can be proud of that. We absolutely to, can. Because it is part of the community and helps us. Yep. So anyway, uh, we're not, we don't have a lot of time left, but I do want to make sure that we go through and summarize everything you said about coming to the dinner. 
Okay. Again, the cost to get in real quickly with the uh, sixty for singles, a hundred dollars for couples, and then the sponsorships and and just call me, uh, Bill Sumner's at seven six zero three seven one zero six nine two. If you haven't seen a flyer, can't find a flyer, or if you want to sign up, call me and I'll bring you a flyer. Or uh, come into any of the gun stores. Come into any of the gun stores and TNT Tire also has the applications. Uh, just one more thing to to speak of. We've got a $5,000 pre-event rifle that was donated. It's a Browning X-Bolt 300 Win Mag. It's a beautiful gun. Uh, we're selling chances for $20. We've got some of those left. Uh, if we don't sell them out, we're going to sell them at the event. Uh, that helps us have a little seed money to kind of do advertising and things like this to to work on. And uh, those are available also at all the gun shops and TNT Tire. Mm -hmm. And when is it? It is May 16th. Uh, 2015. The doors open at four o'clock. I recommend you get there early. You get through the the pre uh, sign in, and uh, your packages will be ready if you've already filled it, filled your paperwork out. And we are limited it to 450 people. We've sold half of those, so get your get your applications. And there's always a big line to get in. Of Do you have the two is. lines again about regular and yep. then sponsors? Well, we have two lines uh, from A to. S, I think, and from S to Z, and okay. then we'll have the, the people that have not paid, paid, and then we'll have a sponsor line. So we're going to try to knock that big old long line thing down. And then we also have, when you go to check out and pay for all your stuff, we've got two people on computers. We've got the system down pretty well, so it should go really smooth uh, for check-in, check-out. Okay. Uh, yeah. What kind of... Uh, uh Things do you have? Is you know live auction? Live that... auction, silent auction. We've got uh, 36 items on live. We've got 80 items on silent auction. We've got about 80 items for just bucket raffles, uh, and some really high dollar stuff. So you'll you'll be impressed, and there'll be plenty of opportunity for you to spend your money. <laughs> and we would love to have you support our Indian Wells Valley. Uh, friends of the NRA. Event. Are you getting the NRA package that they have available every year with yes. all the merchandise? Yep. Can you go over some of the stuff that's in that package? Uh, let's see. We've got uh, we've got a wine cooler, double door, uh, full of wine. Uh, it didn't come with wine from the NRA. No, but. that was donated <laughs> by by a wine connoisseur. Uh, we've got a Yeti cooler. We've got an air compressor. We've got a large TV. Uh, there's just so much stuff. Uh, we've got a bullseye long range um, camera system that you hook up to your laptop, put a camera out there at a thousand yards. It's wireless. And whenever you shoot, it pops, shoots, uh, gives you a little flashing uh, white light around the shot. Really? Yeah, that's, that's, we're going to sell that at the live auction. That's pretty cool. Wow. Everybody needs one of those. <laughs> that was a donated by Bullseye, okay. which is pretty nice. So we have we have tons of items and uh, things that you've never seen there before. Yeah, uh, and I know a lot of the uh, businesses in town as well as put stuff into the thing as well, right? That's right. Yep, we have many many sponsors. Uh, a lot of the businesses around town throw things in there, and uh, and we place it around so we try to get the biggest bang for our buck. Okay, so with 450 people, that's it. I yep. can't have any more than that. Right. How many of those will be kids, probably? Well, last year we had about 60. Wow. So there'll be 60 kids. Typically, the uh, the 60 kids that come in, uh, they range from, you know, four years old to Okay, we've got 10 seconds. I'm going to have to stop it here. Okay. Again, so anyway, this is Bill. Join him and the rest of the group at the Friends of NRA.